Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1713, the Netherlands and England signed an accord establishing an anti-French barrier on this day. In 1763, the Treaty of Paris was signed, ending territorial conflicts between France and Britain in the Seven Years' War. As part of the treaty, Canada was ceded to England by the French. In 1774, Andrew Becker demonstrates the diving suit. In 1776, Thomas Paine publishes Common Sense. In 1778, philosopher Voltaire returns to Paris to great acclaim after an absence of 28 years. In 1794, Joseph Haydn premieres his 99th symphony in E. In 1798, Louis-Alexandre Berthier invaded Rome, proclaiming a new Roman Republic and then took Pope Pius VI as his prisoner. In 1802, Alexander Mackenzie is knighted in the United Kingdom for being the first to cross the North American continent by land. In 1807, the U.S. Congress authorizes a survey of both the East and West Coasts. In 1824, Simon Bolivar is named dictator by the Congress of Peru. In 1837, Russian author Alexander Pushkin was killed in a duel defending his wife's honor. In 1840, Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom marries Prince Albert. In 1842, the Morton Bay Penal Colony is abolished and opened for free settlement. We now know it as the city of Brisbane, Australia. In 1846, the Mormon march to the Western U.S. begins. In 1855, all children of U.S. parents born abroad are granted U.S. citizenship beginning today. In 1861, Florida secedes from the Union going into the Civil War. In 1863, the first U.S. fire extinguisher patent is granted to Allenson Crane of Virginia. In 1870, the YWCA is founded in New York City. Also in 1870, John D. Rockefeller incorporates Standard Oil. In 1870 as well, the city of Anaheim, California incorporates for the first time, but disincorporates after two years because they couldn't pay the taxes. In 1883, a fire at the uninsured Newhall Hotel in Milwaukee, Wisconsin kills 71. In 1890, around 11 million acres are ceded to the U.S. by Sioux Indians, then open for settlement. I'll bet that is not exactly how it went down. In 1897, the New York Times begins using the slogan, All the news that's fit to print. In 1915, U.S. President Woodrow Wilson warns Germany that the U.S. will hold it to a strict accountability for property endangered or lives lost during World War I. Also in 1915, and also U.S. President Woodrow Wilson, lodges a protest to the British government about them using U.S. flags on British merchant ships to deceive the Germans. In 1917, Johanna Westerdijk becomes the Netherlands' first female professor. In 1920, the Treaty of Versailles takes effect, officially ending World War I. Also in 1920, baseball outlaws all pitches involving tampering with the ball. In 1921, Texas Tech University is founded as Texas Technological College in Lubbock, Texas. That's a lot of Texases in one sentence. In 1924, at 27 years old, Bucky Harris of the Washington Senators becomes the youngest baseball manager ever. In 1929, one of the most popular European comic books, The Adventures of Tintin, is first published in Belgium. In 1931, New Delhi becomes the capital of India. In 1933, in round 13 of a boxing match at New York City's Madison Square Garden, Primo Carnera knocks out Ernie Schaff, killing him. Also in 1933, the first singing telegram is performed by the New York City-based Postal Telegraph Company. In 1939, director John Ford's movie Stagecoach is released. It made John Wayne a star. In 1940, the song In the Mood by Glenn Miller hits number one. Also in 1940, the Tom and Jerry cartoon created by William Hanna and Joseph Barbera is debuted by MGM. In 1942, Glenn Miller is awarded the first ever gold record for selling one million copies of Chattanooga Choo Choo. In 1945, the song Rum and Coca-Cola by the Andrews Sisters hits number one. In 1946, the first United Nations General Assembly opens in London. 51 nations are represented. Also in 1946, 
the United States Army Signal Corps successfully conducts Project Diana, bouncing radio waves off the moon and receiving the reflected signals. In 1946 as well, Charles Lucky Luciano is deported to Italy and never returns to the United States. In 1947, World War II peace treaties are signed. In 1949, Arthur Miller's play, Death of a Salesman, opens at the Morosco Theater in New York City. In 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower warns against the United States getting involved in Vietnam. In 1956, My Friend Flicka premieres on CBS TV. It later moves to NBC. In 1957, Laura Ingalls Wilder, who wrote The Little House on the Prairie books, dies at age 90. In 1960, the unsinkable Molly Brown closes at Winter Garden, New York City after 532 performances. In 1961, the Los Angeles Chargers move to San Diego. Also in 1961, the Niagara Falls Hydroelectric Project begins producing power. In 1962, U-2 pilot and American spy Francis Gary Powers was released by the Soviet Union after being shot down in 1960. Also in 1962, NASA announces plans to build the C-5 rocket launch vehicle. It is better known as the Saturn V rocket and launched every Apollo moon mission. In 1964, the times they are a-changing, Bob Dylan's amazingly successful album is released. In 1966, Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Suzanne is published. In 1967, the 25th Amendment to the United States Constitution is ratified. Simply stated, it defines how to replace a president for various reasons. In 1968, the song Spooky by the Classics Four hits number three. In 1969, LSU basketball's Pete Maravich scores 66 points, but they still lose to Tulane. In 1971, Bill White becomes the first African-American baseball announcer. It was for the New York Yankees. Also in 1971, the Royal Albert Hall bans a scheduled concert featuring Frank Zappa. In 1971 as well, Tapestry, Carole King's second album, is released. It goes on to win the Grammy for Album of the Year in 1972. In 1972, the BBC bans the song Give Ireland Back to the Irish by Paul McCartney and Wings. In 1974, Gigi closes down at the Eurus Theatre in New York City after 103 performances. In 1979, Do You Think I'm Sexy by Rod Stewart peaks at number one. In 1981, a fire at the Las Vegas Hilton kills eight and injures 198 people. In 1986, the John Lennon Live in New York City album is released posthumously. In 1989, Ron Brown is elected chairman of the Democratic National Committee, becoming the first African American to lead a major American political party. Also in 1989, Miami Vice's 100th episode is seen on TV and I still have not seen a single one. In 1989 as well, to gain deregulation in a New Jersey court, the World Wrestling Federation admits that pro wrestling is an exhibition and not a real sport. In 1990, Time Warner is formed by the merger of Time Incorporated and Warner Communications. In 1992, Mike Tyson is convicted of raping Desiree Washington in Indiana. In 1993, Michael Jackson talks to Oprah Winfrey airs on ABC, and 90 million people watch. In 1998, voters in Maine repeal a gay rights law passed in 1997. They become the first U.S. state to reverse a gay rights law. Also in 1998, Olympic figure skater Peggy Fleming undergoes breast cancer surgery. In 1990, today the spacecraft Galileo flew past Venus on its way to Jupiter. In 1996, the computer Deep Blue is the first to win a chess game against a reigning champion. However, Kasparov won the series 4-2. In 2004, Kanye West releases his debut album, The College Dropout, which goes on to receive the 2005 Grammy for Best Rap Album. In 2005, Pulitzer Prize winning author Arthur Miller passed away today. Also, he was married to Marilyn Monroe at one point. Also in 2005, North Korea announces that it possesses nuclear weapons. In 2005 as well, a mudslide occurs in La Conchita, California, killing 10 people, injuring many more, and closing U.S. Route 101 between Los Angeles and San Francisco for 10 days. 
In 2006, at the opening ceremony of the 20th Winter Olympic Games in Turin, Italy, Luciano Pavarotti sings Nessun Dorma in his last ever performance. In 2008, the 50th Grammy Awards air. Amy Winehouse wins five awards, including for her song Rehab, and Herbie Hancock wins Album of the Year. In 2009, the U.S. satellite Iridium-33 and the Russian satellite Cosmos-2251 were destroyed in an accident when they collided in space. In 2013, more than 100 people are killed and 270 injured in several bombings in Pakistan. In 2014, American actress and diplomat Shirley Temple passed away today. Also in 2014, the single This Is How We Roll is released by Florida Georgia Line featuring Luke Bryant and becomes Billboard's Song of the Year for 2014. In 2015, comedian Jon Stewart announces he will be leaving The Daily Show at the end of the year. In 2019, today the Houston Chronicle and the San Antonio Express News announce sexual abuse investigations into U.S. Southern Baptist churches that reveals 400 church members are implicated with over 700 victims. And in 2021, astronomers confirm that the planetoid named Far Far Out is the most distant planet orbiting the Sun. It is almost four times further away than Pluto. That was February 10th. There's a lot more where that came from. Actually, there's more right there. Where did those come from? You should watch them.